What is up guys on YouTube and welcome to my review of the 2017 C43 AMG. So I've had this car for a little bit over a month and I have to say everything about this car I love. Coming from the design, going up to the engine, the interior, everything is just so amazing. And I have to say, before people are gonna start commenting again saying, hey guys, this is not a real AMG and all kinds of stuff, I went over this cried a couple of times but i'm gonna say it again just for the people that are gonna watch new for all my new viewers out there this is not a one man one engine but i understand a lot of people are hating about it it's not made in a falterbach and all kinds of stuff but guys the company wouldn't just put an amg badge on the car if it's not a real amg i understand it's not a handmade engine i understand it's not you know made uh, with one hand uh, or like handmade it's an assembly engine but still for the price of the car and i always say for an entry level amg this is amazing more than amazing so enough said about that i'm gonna go into the technical details this one has the v6 bi turbo engine producing 362 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque what is incredible for this car this car comes with the bi turbo formatic or also just formatic what is all wheel drive so the awesome part about this car is you have no wheel spin whatsoever you can launch it anytime it doesn't come with launch control of course but you put your foot on the brake and the gas and the car will take off you know you will smoke a lot of people and it gets a smile on your face every time you do it because there is no wheel spin nothing you just have a straight launch so that's pretty awesome this model I have right now is in the uh, is coming in the metallic silver that I honestly like the most of course they have black white red kind of bluish but this one is the metallic silver and it looks just so amazing in person this one also comes optional with the night package so you have the black front lip you also have the black diffusers and the black accents going across the car then the black mirrors are standard on this model since uh, you can kind of tell it apart from a c300 so the black mirrors are standard on the car then i have the premium 3 package what includes uh, of course black spot assist something called hands-free access what i'm gonna show you guys later so you can open your trunk with just the foot and you have an electronic trunk option to press it like on the suvs pretty cool makes the car feel more expensive in my opinion then also um, multimedia package is included gps of course the bigger screen and uh, ambient lightning is included and then on the door the amg logo will light up once you open the door nice thing to have in my opinion and and overall this car has been amazing i did not have any trouble whatsoever i'm gonna go back to the trunk and then lay down in the interior and you know explain you guys some technical details what i enjoy the most and then we're gonna take it for a spin also before i forget it has the upgraded leather package so that includes black leather with red stitching you can get it with red seat belts on this model i didn't get it with red seat belts yeah overall black ash wood trim of course so let's go to the trunk okay so we're on the back of the trunk right now and as you can see it has um, the amg badge on the left side right here the c43 on the right side they changed it they used to have it on the opposite side i like that uh, new design so what you do is you have your keys in your pocket and all you do is kick underneath the trunk and it will open up for you same goes for closing you just kick underneath or swipe which whichever way you prefer and the trunk will close they made it so when you have something heavy in your hands you can just instead of you know setting it down and unloading it and stuff like that you just have your your foot so it's basically just a sensor underneath it what opens it up you can also see right here on the left side the trunk lock function and uh, closing function like they have on all the um, suv models you push that the trunk will close for you pretty nice to have uh, makes the car feel more expensive in my opinion okay so we are inside the uh, c43 amg right now and as i mentioned outside so this car you have different kind of options you can choose of course with the interior design um, and the seat design i got the black stitching with the uh, no black leather seats with red stitching and 
I just, the interior just feels so comfortable. The only thing I did not get on the car is what I really regret. The only thing I regret I didn't get on the car is the uh, AMG uh, driver's package, I think. So the AMG performance exhaust, for example. I have the stock exhaust on it and I know um, the AMG performance exhaust sounds amazing, way better. But I'm gonna blend in a little sound test of this car and honestly guys it still sounds amazing <laughs> it sounds just it's not as good as the you know performance exhaust but it's still pretty nice especially the upshift sound amazing so um, I don't have the AMG steering wheel as well. I just have the steering wheel with the red stitching on the side, what feels good to me. Um, but yes, of course, that's one thing I wish I could have gotten, but it's not that big of a deal. The premium 3 package, of course, also includes the um, Burmester sound system. Really important because the stock sound system is awful do not ever get the stock sound system and this will also have optional the panoramic sunroof what is also really nice to have i wouldn't get a c-class without the panoramic sunroof just makes it more roomy um yes yes i guess we're gonna take it for a little drive and i'm gonna talk about how everything feels suspension wise and transmission wise this one comes also in the nine speed transmission of course and the uh, diamond grill that i may forgot to mention outside earlier the diamond grill on the 43s what makes the car look really more more expensive in my opinion so let's take it for a spin so of course you have your screen right over here in the middle with all the dynamic select for example vehicle settings the dynamic select comes really handy in all the AMG versions you have the vehicle data and uh, cool on this model it has three different damping modes you can select on the side right here so you have the regular AMG suspension uh, comfort sport sport plus you can also tell how the car stiffens up when you put it in a different suspension mode actually a lot of people think you can't really feel it I can feel it if I drive on the highway for example on a road trip comfort suspension I don't feel the bumps when I, go, when I go around back roads, put it in Sport Plus and have really a lot of fun. Car is way more stiffer and I also feel, I also feel like the steering is more, I don't know, it, it, it handles better in the Sport Plus suspension mode. You have the engine data of course on the screen and then you can do an individual configuration wherever you can do the uh, transmission, suspension right here. Three different damping modes, steering, automatic, eco stop, uh, stop function, start and stop function, and climate control. So the GPS, really nice. You have the bigger screen. It looks kind of like Google uh, Maps and Google Earth, in, in my opinion. Really no problem, works all the time. Really nice graphics. And yes. You have a little display right here in the middle with your temperature, boost, gauge, also a little g-force so you can see how much uh, g-force you put on the car around turns and then all your little, uh, all your different modes, uh, transmission, engine mode and so on. Also a race timer that is also cool to have if you want to go around the track and measure your time. And yes guys, we are going to take it for a spin now. So of course, put your seatbelt on, most important thing. And then you have a little shift, I gotta see it so I don't mess up the microphone. You have a little shift pedal right here on the side where you can do reverse, park and drive. So we're putting it in drive, the automatic uh, brake, parking brake will release itself. And so steering, like I said, in comfort, it's really smooth. In Sport Plus, it's really stiff. And also together with the suspension works amazing. Like, I don't know if it could work any better, honestly. I really like it. So let's see. And of course, what I didn't mention, but that should be, you know, normal backup camera, of course. You can get it in the 360 camera. I don't have that option, but not that big of a deal. 
So this has the nine speed transmission. So usually what I do is uh, you can launch it whenever you put your foot on the brake and you rev it up to like two and a half, three thousand. There you go. So not bad at all. Launch works perfectly fine. Yeah, the car rides insanely good, insanely good. And especially those upshifts and downshifts. This is the regular exhaust, the, the stock exhaust. This is not the pre, uh, performance, AMG performance exhaust. So the performance exhaust is a, still a little bit more advanced and louder and, and better. <laughs> so this is the only thing I'm kind of upset I didn't get, but you know what? Honestly, you can get so many aftermarket uh, exhaust systems. AWE does in drag exhaust that sounds insanely good. So I might as well, you know, uh, get a different kind of exhaust. Yes, handles insanely good. Sorry that I'm not talking a lot, but the car just handles so great. I just love to take it around back roads, especially some curvy roads, because that's really where the car comes to life. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I love this car so much. And the brakes are insanely good. Fast, responsive, no problem at all. So guys, I don't know what else to say. Get this car right now, it's amazing. No, seriously though, this car, since I got it, has been putting a smile on my face ever since I got it. I had the SLC 43 before that and it was a really nice car. But I'm just a fan of the sedan, the four-door sedan. You have space, you can put more people in the car and it rides so much smoother than the SLC. The SLC was really stiff and really on longer roads or longer trips, it was just really annoying sometimes because of the space and the stiffness of the suspension. But this car is overall amazing. It just it handles insanely good. This is why I'm calling it an AMG. guys so overall this is just an, an amazing car and for the price you're paying guys it's not just a you know c300 or cd uh, 350 like they had uh, back uh, back a couple of years ago it is really a true amg to me and you know i was driving a lot of different as people want to call it real amgs i was driving a s63 you know i was driving a c63s i was driving a gla63 i mean there's so many cars i could name and of course it's a it's a it's something completely different than that and it's a different driving pleasure and performance but this is enough, you know, of course one day I want to go bigger and get me a 63 and all that, but overall this is a true AMG to me. It's a baby AMG. All the 43 models are baby AMGs to me and that's what I enjoy the most. So I really hope I could help you out with the review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, of course, and stay tuned for the next review. I'm gonna come up with a bunch of different reviews soon. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This car is amazing that's all i can say so much fun so thumbs up if you enjoyed it